When is a good time to buy Bitcoin? I get this question a lot. In hindsight, it's always easy to say. In this video, we would like to show you the dollar cost average effect and how it played out in the past. It's a great tool if you want to invest in Bitcoin for the long term. You might be surprised by the advantages and data I'm about to show you. So let's get right into it. What dollar cost averaging basically means is that you invest the same dollar amount into an asset at regular intervals. In our example, we will invest $25 into Bitcoin every week. But the intervals could also be monthly or quarterly. You can make this a recurring buy and set it on autopilot. That's what's so great about this strategy. It takes the emotion out of it. It happened to me before. The market dropped by a lot and I got scared and sold. That was a mistake because my emotions took over and the market recovered. Let me show you how well you would have done if you would have used dollar cost averaging in the past. And also how you can set it on autopilot. On this website, you can calculate how much money you would have made or lost by using the dollar cost average effect. If we started one year ago with $25 every week, we invested $1,325. Our investment would be worth $1,640. Solid growth but nothing spectacular. It really gets interesting if we take a look at a longer time period. Let me show you 3 years and 5 years. Now we have almost $4,000 invested. With a 50% growth, our investment is now worth $6,000. Not bad but let's check out the 5-year time frame. Those numbers are amazing. With $6,500 invested our investment almost grew to 50 k Obviously Bitcoin was much cheaper in 2015 but the highs of 2017 are also in this calculation. That's the power of dollar cost averaging. It's a rather boring thing to do but it is so effective. In my opinion, this is so much easier than trying to time the market perfectly. I will leave the link to this website in the description if you want to play around with some numbers. Now let me show you how you set up a recurring monthly transfer and let run things on autopilot. In this example, I use the Crypto.com app but you can do the same thing on other platforms. You press the home button and scroll down to recurring buy. Pick Bitcoin or any other crypto you'd like to purchase. Then the only thing that is left to do is to pick the amount and frequency. Confirm the payment method and you're already set up. Let it run on autopilot. I will use this strategy for the next years. I've got 100 bucks to spare every month and maybe it will grow into something much bigger. Thanks for staying till the end. Check out the links in the description and please subscribe. Leave a comment if you are already using dollar cost averaging. Tell us what you think about this strategy. Thanks again and see you next time.